Hello friends. So I've been a little bit MIA lately, as you guys have noticed. I'm getting lots of comments. Where are you? Hope you're okay. Hope you're doing well. Did you fall off the face of the earth again? Why yes. Yes, I did. Thank you for asking. I've been doing travel videos for two and a half years now, and my life is shifting quite a bit. I met someone really special. We've been dating, but we've been hanging out a lot and getting to know each other really well, and I'm going to introduce you to him today. But first, I'm going to tell you how we met, because you guys played a big part in introducing us, which is kind of crazy. So a few months back, I made a video on being almost 40 and single and sort of the struggles of dating while traveling full time. So dating during van life. Let's Let's talk about it. I have a date today, like right now. He's like, you want me to come pick you up? And I'm like, sure, I'll park on this street <laughs> and then you can drive us to our location. Dating in van life is fun. Like, is he supposed to knock on my door? No, no, we're not doing that. I'm always on the go, so it's hard to not only meet people, but to nurture relationships because I'm always on the go. But I've also talked about how I'm ready to find my person and settle down. Like I've always been open to that and ready for that, but I just kind of needed this van life journey, this isolation. There's been a lot of self healing and growth, but I also have been feeling really lonely lately. So I talked a bit about that in a different video, but I decided ultimately I'm just gonna stop looking for love and it will happen when it happens. And I started working on my Bumble profile and then I was like no I just really need to focus on me right now and get myself in a really really good spot get myself grounded and settled if something comes along and it's meant to be it's meant to be yes I am lonely and that's okay I'm just kind of sitting in those feelings but just because I'm lonely doesn't mean I need to pursue some kind of relationship I want to be really really ready when I meet the person that I'm meant to be with. So I just gonna, I'm just gonna focus on me for now. And the day after I made that video, I got a bunch of messages from you guys saying I needed to meet a certain someone who lives here in St. George, Utah. And then I get a text from my high school volleyball coach saying, hey, you should meet up with this guy. He also does YouTube. I think you guys have a lot in common. She's been following his channel for five years. And I was like, okay, whatever, Jan. I know Jan really well. She's my high school volleyball coach and she's kind of just been a really good friend and kind of a mom figure to me for the last 20, 25 years. And doing van life has been amazing because it's allowed me to see people I haven't seen in a really long time. And I've got to spend more time with Jan in the last two years than I have in the last 20. And no, this is not the first time she's tried to set me up with a complete stranger. Tarzan, how old are you? <laughs> but I'm happy to say it is the only successful time. But the name Skylar Scott kept coming up from Jan and from people in the comments. So I'm like, I'll write this guy an Instagram message. And if he responds, great. If not, then great too. Long story longer, he wrote me back and we went out on our first date. I just got back from my date and it went really, really well. He's really sweet, really like open and vulnerable and it was nice. And by the way, I keep seeing grasshoppers everywhere. Hi grasshopper friend. So of course I looked up the spiritual meaning of grasshoppers and they mean good luck and new love. Hmm. And they're really cute. I was kind of awkward and shy on this date. I don't know why. I'm kind of that way with people at first anyway. Like it takes me a while to feel comfortable around people. But yeah, it was good. Who knows? I'm excited about it. I'm so excited about it. I went Canadian for a minute. We've gone on several dates. We've been cooking a lot together. Ooh, how's it looking? Woo! Hot jambalaya. How good does this look? Oh my goodness. You want a piece of that? I do. <laughs> I also want some food. We went to Vegas, hung out on the strip, we got to go to a puppet show, we took a boat tour of Catalina Island, <laughs> and we went dolphin watching. We expected to see like five and there were hundreds. It was pretty amazing. We went to some local gardens. We recently went on a cruise together which was so fun and I have a couple videos coming up on that shortly. We got to go zip lining in Mexico. Goodbye my love. <laughs> We went to Top Golf. We went out to a ranch for a dance retreat, and that was really fun. They have this really pretty lake and cute cabins. We've just been spending a lot of time together, and we really clicked. And we just both felt like it was time to introduce each other on our YouTube channels. Getting ready for a date. I'm heading over to my boyfriend's house. It's so weird to say. I have a boyfriend. What? Who is she? What is Lewis? I'm meeting up with him and his Nini. 
videos. And we're gonna go to a local state park and hang out and just have a little beach day. Dana Richards, Sister Montana. She will answer to anything. <laughs> Which is a bold move, because I've introduced boyfriends before and it got to the point where I was like, never, I'm not introducing someone in my vlog until there's a ring on it. I just feel like it's the right time, so I'm just going with that. It's so cool, because we both do YouTube as a living and I feel like we have a lot in common. We have kind of different lives though. I've been traveling for a couple years and he has been raising babies. Cheers today. Excited. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. And we got it. <laughs> yes. Things have been going great and getting better and better each time I see him. So all is good. So shout out to Jan. At first I was like, yeah, right, Jan, whatever. She's just trying to hook me up with some random vlogger online. She even had the audacity to send him a couple messages and he didn't get them at first, but we ended up connecting and I'm really excited to introduce you to him. So here he is. Everybody. Hi. Skyler. I'm Skyler. This is him. He's my boyfriend. He's an Aquarius. An Aquarius. Speaking of witchcraft and sorcery, am I the only one who checks your zodiac compatibility on YouTube for like two hours when you first meet someone? No, just me? Okay. I guess Leo and Aquarius are opposites, but that can be a good thing. I don't know. I don't know what it means, but it's fun. Stop. We were just talking about signs. He's an Aquarius sun. Yes. A Leo rising, and then he's like, and then my moon's in like vertigo or my something. My moon's in vertigo. Your it's something with a B. Sick. Yeah. Virgo. My moon was tilting all around. Even... <laughs> is it Virgo? Virgo. So Skylar's moon is in Virgo. And something else you should know about him is- I like long walks on the beach. Um, but enough about me, let's let's talk a little bit about my awards. In 10th grade, I won Best Supporting Actor for Peter Von Don in the, in the Diary of Anne Frank. Uh, my junior year- Bye. I'm gonna go sunbathing. Oh, oh <laughs> So yes, we are the same type of goofy and weird. I think I've met my match. Uh, crazy Eight Enthusiast. Mm -hmm. I won it on my second time. I've never played it. We're playing Crazy Eights. How crazy is this game? Getting crazy. So crazy. It's crazy. He has all the diamonds and I have all the no, space. No, stick with the diamond game. Woot woot. Woot woot. What did I tell you about woot woot? to do it. Yes. <laughs> what did I, did I tell, you tell you about to say, Woot Woot? To say Woot Woot. We constantly quote The Office. Anyway, we're on the cruise. More about that in the next video, but that's Skylar. So Skylar is also a vlogger, which I'm really excited about because in the past I've dated a real estate agent, an eye doctor, an architect, and a comedian. So it's really exciting for me that he not only understands my world, but maybe we can collaborate. Something that's been difficult for me in past relationships is a lot of times people don't understand my career and that it actually is a lot of work. People see it and they don't understand the amount of work that goes into vlogging. So it's just nice for me to have someone who gets it and just understands that part of me because it's a big part of my life. I'm excited. I don't feel like I have to change that part of myself to be with someone. So it's really cool. Something that is quite a big change though is Skylar has seven kids. He has two teenagers and five five-year-olds. Can we just let that sink in for a second? Yes, Skylar has quintuplets. We just did a vlog with his kids on the beach if you want to see it. Five to Love is his YouTube channel so you should go check it out. One of the best ways to vet the people I meet is hang out with me for a bit and eventually hang out with me and all seven kids and if you're still hanging out with me <laughs> We're probably friends, so <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. And that's something I don't take lightly going into a relationship. It's a huge responsibility. It's a lot of different personalities, a lot of people who will need a lot of support from the adults in their life. So my world is changing pretty drastically, but I'm up for the challenge. I've always wanted a big family. I always thought I would have five kids. I actually had a friend ask me like, do you think you want to date someone with seven kids? And I was like, yeah, probably. And then they were like, yeah, that sounds about right. So I have met the kids. The teenagers are the sweetest humans. I was expecting teenagers to be kind of too cool for you and too cool for school. Um, I wasn't really that way as a teenager, I guess, but a lot of them are, and they're just the sweetest boys ever. And I come from a broken home and I know what it's like having a new person come into the mix. And so I'm just really sensitive to the role that I play in these kids' lives. And I think as, you know, as we progress, it's important that the kids always come first and we're making sure that they're taken care of and I know that's a 
tricky balance, but I think just keeping open communication around that is really good. I got to meet the Quints. I am on my way to hang out with Skylar and meet the Quints today. I've met the two older boys and I am a little scared. I'm just nervous. I got to meet the Quints, which I felt was really important for both of us. I wanted to see how Skylar is with his kids. And I think we both wanted to see how well I meshed with the kids, just to see like, is this relationship gonna go forward? Cause if I don't gel well with his kids, you know, the relationship's not really gonna work. So he introduced me as his friend and you know, we don't kiss and hug and do relationship -y things in front of the kids cause we don't want them to get super confused and all that, but I think it was important for me to meet them and we really gelled, like I had a lot of fun with them. Now I won't be showing any footage of the kids on my channel. I make content geared more towards adults, but if you're interested in watching Skylar's channel, they do videos with the Quints and I was in their latest one. He introduced me on their channel as well. If you wanna check it out, their channel's called Five to Love, like five Quints, two teenagers, and then love. If that sounds like something you wanna watch, that was where you'll see the kiddos and they're so sweet. I absolutely adore them got along really well I just went to Target and spent way too much money I wanted to make a charcuterie platter for Skylar and I and then make a charcuterie platter with like more kid centered stuff but just fun like snacky food so yeah no I'm excited I love kids I'm excited to kind of just meet them see all their little personalities and just see how Skylar is with his kids so it went really well, we went bowling. They warmed up to me really fast and I just adore every single one of them. So it went really, really well, like better than I expected. I think van life has prepared me a little bit for being able to hang out with quintuplets on a daily basis. <laughs> you really have to go with the flow and be able to turn on a dime. And I don't know, you just have to be a little resilient to be able to do it. But I was a little exhausted by the end of the day, but my heart was so full. It was a really, really good day. And I've got to hang out with them a couple times and it's just been, it's just been really natural and really good and everyone seems happy so that's what we're going for lately I've been non-stop crocheting I've been a little bit obsessed making ponchos making boho tops and most recently I made blankets for quintuplets <laughs> Logan's is blue violets is purple Lily likes pink Daisy likes yellow and Lincoln's color is green I crocheted in the coffee shop what was I doing in my trailer while drinking my morning coffee you ask making little tassels I just went on a cruise and I crocheted the whole six hour drive down to LA and the whole six hour drive back hello love good morning governor <laughs> no but I literally crocheted the entire 12 hour drive and Skylar only made fun of me about eight times about it so the last time I was over there I kind of showed them their blankets a little bit just to get a gauge on do they like them I don't know should I change the colors and Lincoln likes green but he kept saying my favorite color is orange I had already made him a green one but if Lincoln likes orange then orange he shall get so I did end up making a different blanket for Lincoln and actually this is one of my favorite ones it looks very like retro 70s it's cute I might make one for myself I'm also making one for the older boys Landon's gonna pick out his colors so I'll get working on that soon but they're so cute I do have an extra green one though so if anyone wants to buy this one or I'm considering donating it to a family in need like maybe a single mama who's pregnant and needs a little extra help like I'll send this out to them so send me a DM on Instagram if you want to buy this blanket or know someone we can gift it to I think I'm probably more excited to give these to them than they are to receive them how cute would it be if they had their own little special blanket to cuddle up with so Daisy already liked hers and Lily said she didn't really like brown so I'm like no it's it's gold like Goldilocks Rapunzel it's like a princess's crown I don't know they don't have to love their blankets I'll just be like if you want to snuggle with it you can but I think it's cute they each get their own so anyway I'm so excited to give these to them and I really love making new ones so if you guys want a different color or you want one of these hit me up on the instas I'm a little backed up on crochet orders right now so it'll be about a week out but let me know but it's been a little challenging doing travel videos because I've been here in St. George and I want to stay here and give this relationship a real shot I'm coming to you from my 105 degree trailer right now oh nothing my ceiling is just melting off in the hundred degree heat yes I am getting an air conditioning unit soon so hopefully it works typically right now I would be very far north because it is getting into the hundreds here in St. George and it's not slowing down so I'll still be traveling a little bit here and there I'll probably go up in elevation somewhere so I don't melt just excited to be able to share with you guys what I've been up to it's a big transition for me like do I stop doing my whole travel thing which is also my career do I get an Airbnb over the summer what do I do I don't know but I hope you guys will 
come along with me and find out what's next. But one thing I really adore about Skylar is we can have a really in-depth conversation. He's very emotionally aware and in tune, but we also laugh really hard at really dumb things together. So I just want you to know that these people over here have been distracting me. It hasn't been fair. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Roar, roar, switch it. Roar, roar. <laughs> Sit down. I'm not done yet. Here we go. This crazy eights game just got real crazy. crazy. Some differences we have is he is an indoor cat and I am definitely an outdoor cat. That was so fun, except for I got little gnats right in my eyeballs. They keep getting up in my in helmet. Your helmet? You dancing. can feel them in your head? They're dancing in my helmet. If you'll just notice the bug swirling around Skylar as he takes off on his first of five zip lines. So there's a so... couple there. That was hurt. Yeah, there's one in here. Oh. Yeah. You have a bug bite in between your fingers. Yeah. I don't know if you can How many bug bites do you think? Probably you have? 20. <laughs> and I was in a group of 30 people, so I helped everyone. So I probably I don't have 30. Have, I have zero. I'm just bug talking bites. with my hands. Like, it usually feels better to do this, <laughs> but with the bug bite. I just can't yeah. do it. Of course I want him to love the outdoors and he's the only one who got eaten alive by 20 mosquitoes. So much for the indoor cat wanting to be an outdoor cat. We tried and we will keep trying. But I think the fact that he's an indoor cat is going to make me be a little more social and the fact that I'm an outdoor cat is gonna make him get out and about a little bit more. And I think sometimes our differences can be blessings if you look at it that way. So we're gonna see how it goes. And I love that we met right now. I think if we met at any other point in our lives, we wouldn't have meshed, but all all the experiences we've each been through up until now have really allowed us to connect on a really deep level and it's kind of crazy. Real crazy. crazy! And I'm just loving getting to know him and I'm excited to share our journey together whether it's you know for a couple months or if it's forever we don't know but I hope you'll come along in the journey and just don't tell Journey we were talking about. I'm so excited to be back vlogging again. I've been just in a transitional phase trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life. I love creating content, I love entertaining, so I'm gonna continue doing that, but it might morph into something else, I don't know, but um, you guys are my tried and true. I feel like you'll stick with me through whatever journeys I go through, and I appreciate that so much. It means a lot to me that you're coming along with me on this crazy ride, so. If you made it this far in the video, write hi Skylar down in the comments. Questions, concerns, criticisms, judgments, leave them all down in the comments. Comments. I would prefer if you leave us some love, but if you want to be a D-bag down in the comments or leave some negative unsolicited advice, go right ahead. It all helps the algorithm. I appreciate you so very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll join me in the next couple videos. We went on a cruise, we saw dolphins, we went zip lining. We had a great time. So we'll be back soon with new videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends.